Hey, good afternoon, friends. Jeff from Bygone Classics here with our gorgeous 72 Grand Prix Model J that shows just 107,000 original miles. Uh, this is a car that originally came out of Texas and uh, eventually made its way up to Illinois. And it's, for the most part, I would call this an unrestored car uh, with some updates over the years. It's been painted, uh, it looks like just one time, but the interior on this car is incredibly well preserved and appears to be uh, almost, almost entirely original. So as we start taking a look around, it looks to me like the carpet might, might be original on this car. Um, pedal and uh, brake pedal and gas pedal wear looks consistent with the mileage. Center console is in really nice shape on this car. Notice that the uh, console lid should be replaced. And the only other flaw really worth mentioning is this driver's side uh, bucket seat bottom that is unfortunately pretty common on, on these. Um, so, I mean, heck, if you, if you wanted to throw a, a bucket seat uh, bottom in here and uh, do that console lid, I think you'd be in pretty good shape. This is a tilt wheel car. Uh, dash is really nice on this one. Again, this thing had had to be garaged, probably sat for quite a long time um, indoors. Uh, the last owner out of Illinois did drive the car pretty regularly. And you can see in our ride along videos, the, the car does run and drive quite nicely. It does have an upgraded uh, Kenwood CD player in there as well. One very, very small hole in the headliner on that passenger side, but otherwise headliner on this car is beautiful. Bucket seat backs. Uh, also a pure original and have that typical patina, you know, on them that you get. Uh, back seat is gorgeous, just gorgeous. It doesn't look like, <laughs> oh, we hear this, it sounds very cliche, but it doesn't look like anybody ever sat back here. Just an incredibly honest, honest car, ladies and gents. Door jams on this one are nice and solid. Here's the driver's side door panel. All the trim is nice and bright. No cracks or anything like that. That's a nice view of the bottoms of the doors. You can see how nice and crisp everything is on this one. Let's walk over to the passenger side. You're going to see more of the same. Passenger side door panels in excellent shape as well. You can see in the options testing video too that all the power uh, power windows work on this car. All the switches operate. You can see just how nice and dry this car is though. If you haven't had a chance yet, check out our undercarriage video of this one. It's, it's pretty ridiculous underneath. And again, just enough wear in a few spots to make me think that this carpet is, is original. The other thing is the huh you know what i'm going to i'm going to double back on that this carpet has been replaced at some point because the the cuts here aren't the cut here for the seat isn't the way gm did it they they would have had a um a flap that just went over and uh, that's yeah that is not how they do it more of what we saw on the other side here with the seat back um, in excellent shape. Uh, if you wanted to, um, SEM sells the paint for for this for the saddle interior. You could just spray these up, and and you'd be you'd be rocking again. Rear package tray is really nice on this car too. Look, friends, just an honest car that you can get in, start cruising with, have some fun with, and then putts with as you go. Uh, do little minor odds and ends. 
If you have any questions about this car, don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, if you like this sort of content, give us a follow. We, uh, we do pretty detailed videos on all the cars that we find. Take care. Thanks.